Alright everyone, welcome back to Magpie Movies with Jordi Paul. I've had a bit of a break, but you've also seen that I've done a live video with uh, Pete Inslee, Blu-ray Bullet Brit. So I hope you enjoyed that. We've had 500 views, so... Well, over 500 views, so that is absolutely amazing. So before we do a live stream tomorrow, on Valentine's Day at 8.30 with special guest Kermit's Ghost, I thought I'd show you um, a new edition that's arrived. And that edition is of Second Sight, and it is The Nightingale. So The Nightingale, I believe, may still be on Netflix at the moment. I could be wrong, but that's where I originally saw it. Uh, it does come with a bit of a history of violence and turn away scenes, etc. But I thoroughly enjoyed it on Netflix. So this arrived today. Now, within this is a special box set, obviously. It's from Second Sight. It's got the Blu-ray art cards and a book so uh, it comes with uh, an interview with Aileen Franciosi who's the lead actress who plays Claire uh, it's got interviews with the other actors in there like it says it does come with a it's a limited edition of 2000 obviously it's got the Richardson case um, new artwork 40 page booklet and three collector's cards as it says so let's delve in so as you can see there's your book box even should I say so it comes with the book, there we go, Nightingale, and it's got, it looks like, set designs, interviews, and such, and the like, should I say, there we go. We've got art cards, which I'm not going to open, I always like to keep them sealed, and then we have the disc itself, the same special features as on the, uh, the rigid case itself. And then there we go, just a single disc in there as well. So with regards to the Nightingale, you know, obviously it is, I like the film. I do enjoy the film. Although, can you enjoy it? Not really. How long is it on for? It is on for 136 minutes. So two hours, 16 minutes. Um, obviously, Blu-ray as well. So basically, it sets the scene of Claire who is an Irish immigrant with a husband who lives in a settlement in a Tasmanian wilderness. Um, they live there as kind of servants to British soldiers. One of the British soldiers is after promotion, um, but he needs to go somewhere to get this promotion. So he takes, he's going to take some of the soldiers with him. Um, but there's an event that happens with her and her family uh, and at that point she then goes after him for revenge. That's basically the long and short of it. She meets an Aboriginal guy on the way who's a tracker to track them. Um, that's it really. So he comes into it later on. He's called Billy. She's called Claire. That's it. So is it a recommendation? I think it's a very good film. I give it at least eight and a half, nine out of ten. Um, I highly recommend watching it. If you're a bit mm, screamish or whatever, then that's fair enough, don't watch it. But there are rape scenes in it, there are deaths in it. Um, yeah, so it's up to you if you wanted to watch it. I recommend it, it is obviously an 18 certificate. Um, so yeah, who was directed by Jennifer Kent. I don't know if she's done any other stuff, um, but it's a lovely box set. Second sight of trying to catch up with Arrow. Um, Arrow obviously more going down the alternate routes, whereas these guys are just sticking with this, like Revenge. What other ones have I got by them? Um, the Strangers. Uh, so this fits nicely with my other ones. Um, so yeah, so there you go. This is my first video back after a bit of an absence. Um, so I hope you liked it. Um, definitely, like I said, recommend you getting this. It's limited to 2,000, but you can still get it now. Um, so give it a go, give it a watch. If you're not, I think it's on Netflix. Like I said, give it a watch on Netflix before you want to buy it. I recommend it, um, so it's up to you. So there you go. So that's the Nightingale um, unboxing, opening kind of review for you. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, like I said, coming up uh, tomorrow at 8.30, me and Pete will be doing a live stream on my channel at 8.30 for Valentine's Day. And then on Wednesday, we've got an exclusive with Big Paulie coming along at 4 o'clock. And then the following Sunday, we've got Jamie Powell. And then after that, we've got other ones lined up, as you can probably see from my posts in Facebook, Movie Bug, and Jamie Powell's channel. 
Um, so yeah, so we've got loads of people lined up. If you fancy getting on uh, with a sub or not a sub on a live stream with me and Pete, uh, drop me a line. Let me know. I'm on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, message me on here, and it's entirely up to you. And we'll see if we can fit you in. I think we're booked up until we're doing it every Sunday with the occasional midweek one. I'm doing a solo one with Lucas, the filmmaker, uh, on Thursday. So Big Paulie with me and Pete on Wednesday. And then Singular, just me and Lucas on Thursday. And then Jamie on Sunday. And then I think it is Movie Bug that week or the week after. We've also got Horror and Todge coming along. Carlino 9 is going to be on there. Um, so yeah, if you want to get in touch, let me know. And then I'll book you in for me and Pete. Or if you just want to do a single one with me, let me know. Next week, uh, I have no kids on Wednesday and Thursday, but obviously those two days are booked in. And if you want to do a live stream with me, it'll have to be when the kids are in bed in the evening. Other than that, drop me a line, let me know. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you on my next video. No, I won't. I'll see you tomorrow uh, when you're watching this. If you watch this back next week, you won't. But I'll see you on the 14th for the live stream, and after that, I'll see you in my next video. So that is Jolly Paul done. Adios.